in bodies or alien species. Is the truth being covered up? Today, the House Oversight Committee heard that the U.S. has not only recovered alien spacecraft, but some of the aliens themselves. And those allegations were made by former U.S. military officers. They testified under oath, albeit without proof that the federal government not only knows that we have been visited by alien life forms, but it has spent decades keeping it a secret. 13 News reporter Carson Courier breaks down today's congressional hearing and gets some reaction from experts here in the astronomy capital of the world. Biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Um, were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program. A jaw-dropping testimony about unexplained object sightings in government possession of non-human biologics or remains found at wrecked alien spacecraft sites, leaving lawmakers stunned. Local experts, on the other hand, who have been following reports of sightings for years, watched with eyes wide open. There were some pretty dramatic things being said under oath. I was pretty excited about it. I think just about everybody I know is excited about it. Excited for the possibility of more government transparency. This after years of reported sightings from pilots, military officials, and even everyday average shows. Well, if there's like Look at that thing. It's rotating rotating in a way that some say is impossible. We do have now drones and things that can have a very small profile, and so they don't have to have wings or jet, obvious jets. Uh, but these seem to be almost featureless objects, and so it's really hard to describe to get objects like that moving and also changing direction very rapidly. Some would say that rapid movement is out of this world. But that doesn't mean that all biologics look like this. In fact, we don't know what they look like. Military officials are claiming the government does. Well, there's been kind of a fight going on with the Pentagon. The Pentagon hasn't wanted to release information and has frankly been pretty obstructionist all the way along. As some say, this could be a security concern. If UAP are foreign drones, it is an urgent national security problem. If it is something else, it is an issue for science. In either case, unidentified objects are concerned for flight safety. Others wonder why the government is being so tight-lipped. Uh, that's a staggering discovery, and, and maybe the government just decides that we're not ready for that information, we couldn't handle the truth. Um, but that's very speculative. So the most dramatic claims made today, mostly by Grush, you know, are as yet unconfirmed. And of course, he said he couldn't say any of the true interesting information in a public hearing. Uh, and the committee, of course, were visibly frustrated about the fact that they hadn't had a secure room or a skiff where they could be given the classified information ahead of the hearing. Reporting in Tucson, Carson Courier, 13 News. Well, meanwhile, scientists led by the University of Arizona could be on the verge of unlocking.